All right, we got a few kids here today. Y'all want to come up? Y'all just come up here and have a seat. Just come over here. Don't be afraid of me. Parker's my hiking buddy. We go hiking and he likes uh, finding the, the towers and all that, the, the radio towers and all that. And they're usually on pretty high mountains, Don, so uh, I can't keep up with him, though. He's pretty good. How are you doing today? Well, I wanted to talk to you. Has anybody ever ate spaghetti? Of, you ate spaghetti before? I ate it yesterday. Okay. Well, it didn't have meat. It just noodles. We, you mean last night? Yeah, it was sort of like spaghetti. It was that lasagna. Did you have something I didn't have? No, we had it for lunch yesterday. Oh, for lunch. Okay. I, was, I thought you meant the, at the birthday party. Okay. Sorry, I missed out on that. Uh, well, I'll tell you what. Uh, spaghetti has a lot of ingredients and I'll be honest with you I'm not really the cook at our house but it takes several things now usually if I'm going to fix something it's usually out of a can like Chef Boyardee uh, raviolis you know but uh, when uh, Sandy makes spaghetti I, I know a few things it, you got to have noodles right got to have noodles in it and past pasta sauce so some tomato sauce uh, what else, Libby? Uh, meatballs, if you want me. Hamburger, if you want that in it. Uh, so you get all these things, and if you make spaghetti, I don't know if you've ever made it before, but guess what? If you turn it on and you leave it on and you put the lid on it for a long time, guess what'll happen? Well, it'll get so hot it'll burn, but it'll boil over and start spilling. Okay. So what you have to do is turn it down, maybe take, even take the lid off, turn it down or whatever, so that it don't get too hot and spill over. So I don't want you to do this without your parents helping you, but just to, want you to know that what can happen. Well, the Bible talks about, and we're talking about today in Psalm 32, how that our sins are kind of like that. David said he kept it all in, and it just kind of was about to boil over. And it's sort of like uh, when we have things that we've done wrong and we know we've messed up, it bothers us. You ever feel bad for doing something you shouldn't do? Maybe your parents told you you something you shouldn't do or whatever. It bothers you. And uh, so it's kind of like having sin in your life. And it, and it just starts boiling up and then it leaks out. But what happens is it, when you confess it and tell God about it and you say, I'm sorry, it's like turning it down. You feel so relieved and you feel so much happier. So that's what forgiveness is all about. It's just allowing God to uh, forgive us of our sins so that we can feel so much better. When I, when I say I'm sorry about something, usually I feel better afterwards. How about you all? You ever feel better? Okay. So that's what we're talking about today is just being happy because we're forgiven. And God wants to forgive everybody, nobody today. In fact, we don't have a right not to forgive either. Uh, God will promise He would always forgive. So let's pray. Father, we want to come before You and thank You today for the love that You have for us. For the forgiveness You have for us, God. We know that we're all sinners saved by God's grace. So I pray, Father, for Your will to be done in our lives as we accept the grace that You give us in Christ Jesus. Amen. Alright. Y'all can go back to Lily there. Good job, guys.